This is going to be fun. 839, Missy Franklin is a six-time Olympic medalist, five of those gold, highlighted by a dominant performance in London where she brought home five total medals. But Missy's rise to the top was less than typical. She writes about it in a new book, co-written with her parents. It's called Relentless Spirit, The Unconventional Raising of a Champion. And Missy's here along with her mom and dad, D.A. and Dick Franklin. It's so nice to see you guys again. Nice it's to been be too long. I know. Something made me smile early in this book. I was reading about you started swimming early. Yes. And you said in the beginning the only reason you wanted to swim was not to compete, not to beat anybody, not to go fast. It just made you happy. Absolutely. And it still does. That's still the reason why I swim. But I just loved being in the water. You know when you get all pruney after being in the yeah, water for like hours? Fingers. Like that was my entire childhood. <laughs> yeah, but as a parent, it's such a gift to have a child who just wants to have fun and be happy and is not there going, but I didn't win and I didn't go fast. That makes it easier for you. Absolutely. She loves it and, and we love to support her. It was great. Do you think it made you happy because you were beating everybody? <laughs> I mean, possible? it maybe didn't hurt, but, <laughs> you know, it was just being in the water. It's always felt like home to me. It's an element that I just feel so natural in and just so myself. Parents um, get a bum rap a lot with youth sports these days, that they drive their kids too hard and they get too involved in their young sports careers. You talk about, Dick, in the book, a difference between motivating your child and enabling your child. Will you explain that for parents at home? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Matt. Motivating can be pushy, can be assertive, can maybe take your child somewhere they don't want to go. Uh, enabling is looking for the lights to go on. We saw, we saw Missy in the pool, we saw the lights go on, and we both together said, whatever we can do to enable that love and that passion, we're gonna do. As, There's a difference. As parents of a great athlete, you deal with the highs and you deal with the lows. How, what would you tell parents watching for their kids to help them deal with disappointment? What we did was just be there and listen and um, let Missy lead the way. Uh, there were numerous times we would talk. There were numerous times we'd, we would just listen. And I think that's what she appreciated the most. You've dealt with disappointment. London was a high, was a high point in your career. Yeah. You just, you killed it. Thank you. I know Rio was a disappointment to you. Absolutely. So when you came out of Rio, how did you deal with it? In a lot of different ways. I had the most incredible support, which I was so grateful for, and it was a lot of reflecting on the experience, because I didn't want to look at it and say, this is something that hurts, it's painful to look back on, so I'm just going to ignore it. I wanted to look at it as an opportunity to grow as a swimmer, but more importantly, as a person. And so I've been trying to just use that experience to look back and say, what can I learn from this and how can I move forward? You, you talk about it in a fascinating way in an interview. You said you felt like swimming broke up with you this summer and you were trying to rehabilitate that relationship. I like that was relatable. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, absolutely. So where does the rehabilitation stand right now? You know, it's awesome right now. I'm in an incredible training environment that I love so much um, with incredible guys that it's just been a blast so far. And right now my main goal is just to fall in love with the sport again and to, you know, keep that, I guess, rekindle the fire in the relationship yeah. <laughs> if we're sticking with that metaphor. You also say that it's, it should, there should be a six-month moratorium <laughs> on a journalist asking an Olympian about the next Olympic Games after the previous At Olympic Games. At least six months. Okay. Can I get in under the four-month deadline? Are you going to be in Tokyo? Oh my gosh, yes. Just for you, Matt. Um, I would love to be. I would love to be. But right now, like I was saying, it's just every day I'm trying to enjoy the journey. Well, we've enjoyed going on on part of that journey with you. One of my favorite Olympic Thank families, you. guys. Aww. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank so you, nice to see you. And again, <laughs> the book is Relentless Spirit. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.